after show. It's a go. Welcome, geeks and ghouls. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, I promised we'd have it. On our next broadcast, and I wasn't lying, we now have a Ty Rivera lie counter. A lot of my day to develop this. Where you'll just keep track of Ty's lies. You're gonna love it. It's available now, built in to everything. Get yourself a new drink. Whew. I'm already very, very, very toasty. Um, but welcome. It's an after show. If you're not an overdose member, consider joining. Uh, if you are an overdose member, hey, thanks. I can't believe we have people watching at 6 a.m. in England. And, uh, and why is Megan in Buffalo awake? Uh, how many times do you think you've made? How many times do you think Moody cried today? I don't. Yeah, um, it's healthy. I think uh, a healthy amount, probably, of crying. Uh, Moody's a responsible man um, with a high EQ. So, you know, he gets a little teary. He feels things a little more. I grew up with no one on the screen who looked like me. It's like, so did everyone ever before, like, a minute ago. Like, ah, there were no VHS tapes that resembled my, my countenance. Ah. Tell it to a caveman. A man, like, people really have such a fucking myopic view of everything. You don't know what it was like to grow up with nothing on HBO. Okay. Okay. I don't know how anybody ever made it, you know. By the way, if we didn't have airplanes and stuff, you know, people who lived out in the fucking woods would still not have any TVs and people who look like them on TVs. And then what? Would they all just be slitting their wrist with dull stones? Or would, uh, you know, we all just move on with our lives? I thought Sam's Club sponsored the after shows. Oh. Is that triggering people? The Kirkland signature? (laughs) Is it upsetting to people with a Sam's membership? Which one's better? I wonder. Disney made Aladdin in the 90s. Look how long it took them to make Coco. What's Coco? We don't talk about Coco. Coco. Okay. Um, Is that the one? Uh, if it, if one more person tells me I have to see Encanto, I'm probably I'll probably join most of those deep water turtles in drowning myself. Um, have you seen this chick, Alice Hamilton? So I don't know who she is. Uh, she's got an afro. So. We can look. This does say a lot. It's fine. Feminist comedian, sex criminal. My first mini special, free on YouTube. Holy shit. We just found our after show, everybody. (laughs) I didn't I didn't see that. But she wrote uh this tweet. Ayo, by the way. Solid way to just present yourself as an intelligent person. <laughs> Ayo! <laughs> it's like, it's how Charlie opens every episode of Always Sunny. 50% of comedians gotta go. You know it. I know it. God knows it. 
if I had the Infinity Stones, this is who I'd cut loose. And then a thread emoji, and then a picture of, I believe, look, I don't follow the Marvel, the Mar Mar Marvel Comics universe. Um, I don't know what the Infinity Stones are or how they work. I believe this is Thanos. I think. I don't know. Is that Thanos? I don't know who that is or what he does, but I just from like being around on the earth. Um, but yeah. Chris D'Elia, obviously this man would be my number one pick, even if I did not have reason to suspect he is a serial rapist pedophile it's like well if you suspect they're a serial rapist pedophile then i guess that's enough to lock him up benghazi <laughs> um truly one of the dog shit worst motherfuckers to ever touch a microphone hack doesn't even begin to cover it look crystalia i could understand when people could call him a little a little hack, but as a person who's watched him and seen him do several shows, like the dude does command a crowd. Um, he has a good presence and he, he wins him. He kills. He really does do well in clubs. There are some accusations of grooming and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, if there, look, I'm not sticking up for him. I think there's some stuff that's come to light that was kind of inappropriate. <laughs> the problem is there are no like specific crimes he can be charged with. There was no like, th I don't know if he like raped. Did he have sex with an underage girl? I don't know. Like, so I'm not defending him. Um, but like, I figure like if he did something, he'd be in jail. Like Cosby, uh, well, was in jail. Weinstein is in jail. Louis C.K., well, what he did feels wrong and sounds wrong and everything. Um, you know, there's not like, okay, wh what do we do? Like, because there's not really a thing to charge him with and we do have a system. And people in the chat get very, very uh, attitude Judy about it. He's a sex offender, LOL. Who cares if he kills, LOL? He preys on teenage girls. <laughs> it's like... You're an emotional nudge. Um, you know probably more about it than I do, but we still don't know. Like a sex offender is someone who's been charged with a crime, with a sex crime, and is now on a sex offender registry. So is he on a sex offender registry? Then he's not a sex offender. So again, you're very angry and you can feel things. And again, things have come to light that I, I agree are not appropriate. And uh, not acceptable behavior and wrong. The problem comes when it comes time to prove those crimes, level charges for those crimes, and they, it can't be done. So when you're going like, this guy's a sex offender, it's like, I don't know. Like, we do have, we do have a system and definition for these things. So you just can't. You can't. I know what it feels like to you, but that's why you're not a judge. Okay. Not sure there's proof of any actual rape, but there was proof of him hitting up teenage girls on Facebook. It's like, I hit up teenage girls on Facebook. Okay? My early 20s, especially. And? Put together a list. Come get me. I mean, look. <laughs> not underage. I'm not saying underage. But, like, dude, you know about, like, we don't, we all know jack shit. So it's like... We do live, I know this hurts young people. This really like, you know, grinds the gears of young people that we live in a society where you're presumed innocent until you're proven guilty. Now, bookers, comedians, people have the right to not work with the guy. Like, I heard he's a creep. Like, that's you. Do you. But this outrage and like calling for their cancellation, it's like, that's not how the world works. It's not how any of this works. So your feelings, your emotions, what we think we know, he messaged a girl, okay? That's not a crime. That's not a crime. 
Calm down. Let's get crime guys, okay? That's what I'm into. Crime guys. Um, but let's go on. She's she she went on one, man. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn uh made me laugh, but not hard enough to look past this shit. Okay. So already she's got this weird dichotomy in her head where she's like she's like there is a level of funny where you would look past something. It's like, this is again where I disagree. It's like, no, no, no. If, if people are doing wrong things provably and we can, you know, connect the dots, let's end the people. She's like, if he was funnier, I'd look over it. Like, so you're already like a whirling dervish of a judge. Okay. I feel like he's a rapist, so get him. And then this one's like, he's not funny enough for the crimes he's done. It's like, so there is a level where you pardon people? You're all nuts. You're all nuts. This is emotional uh, insanity is what this is. <laughs> now the white supremacy comes out, yeah? You know it. Um, I'd snap him into oblivion and never look back. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. I don't know who you are, but you wouldn't. Liar. There's a reason you're typing in all caps on Twitter late at night. You're mentally ill. <laughs> Santino is dope. <laughs> I don't know. him. Look, I know Theo. I've worked with Theo. I don't know what the fuck she's upset at Theo about. What did Theo do? I don't, I don't even listen anymore when people like cry assault and rape it, it like, cause you're proving my point. Like you guys are in the chat going like, he's a rapist. It's like, okay. You don't know what a rapist is. <laughs> Here's another idiot. Uh, it is a crime to message 13 year old girls. Actually. It isn't. It isn't. Your brain is fucking broken. What world are you in? It's a crime to message anyone? It ain't. <laughs> there needs to be a new category of sex pest for people who are dodgy but not technically doing illegal stuff. Sure. Sure. <laughs> a sex pest. <laughs> Got him. It is a crime to message kids, actually. It's like, oh, no, then me and my niece are fucking over. I I hate idiots. Oh, God. Santino is dope. Santino is annoying as fuck. I love that. Back to back. Hi, I'd like to report a crime. Someone messaged my daughter. Andrew Santino, the other scumbag in that clip. <laughs> Who's watching the clip? Um, with Theo about how Dalia likes him young. I don't know who the next great comedian is, but one thing's for sure, it ain't fucking Santino. So the whole reason, if you break this down, the other guy in the clip laughing at Theo's jokes... <laughs> Like, for all I know, look, if these guys are talking on a podcast about young girls, you have to assume it's a joke. They do a comedy podcast. It's like if you came after me going, like, he really offered money for Ty's dog's teeth. <laughs> what if you're 13? You can't message your own daughter. Right. I mean, it's just a blanket statement that's insane to say. Oh, like, uh, it is actually illegal to message a 13 year old. It's like, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> friend, Patrick screaming about people opposing messaging young children. Friend of Kool Aid, indeed. Oh, come on. Look, you can sit there and be mad at some intellectually dishonest thing you've conjured up in your brain, but like, that doesn't make it legit. So, you expecting other people to get all frothed about it? I go screw. But he's out there. It's like, he ain't. He ain't. If there's anybody walking on eggshells right now, it's Dalia. 
or he's retarded, and we'll get him. We'll get him. He messaged a girl once. Lock him up! <laughs> Brian Callen, uh, alleged rapist, confirmed hack. You, do, you, do you see how they're reasoning for these? Like, it started off good. Like, I'll give you Delia. Like, I start, it started off with that. Like, there are swirling allegations. Sure. These are like, he was in a video with Delia. <laughs> it's like, a Okay. And now it's like alleged rapist confirmed hack. It's like neither one of those are a crime. Next. And you guys can get mad. You can get mad about it. Like I'm I'm not defending Brian Callen. I worked with Brian Callen a couple of times and don't know him at all, really. You can get mad about it, but like when they come for you, I'll say the same fucking thing. What proof do we have? Because I'd rather not lock up people for nothing. Being creepy is not illegal, okay? And by the way, every one of you motherfuckers who's obsessed with these guys, oh, you're hiding something. You're weird. This chick, you're not this mad about Crystalia diddling kids unless you have skeletons. And by the way, the same guys in the chat who are like, he fucks kids. Well, he messages them. It's like, get a dog. You're all you're like you're nuts. <laughs> uh, oh my god, he's not defending. He's just saying it's not illegal. You idiots, cry wolf. Wait, I don't care what they do. Cancel me. See if I give any shits. I'm telling you, as a guy, as a guy who's had a woman use the R word on him, I was like, whoa. You sucked my you sucked my dick and left your lip balm at my apartment. That's not rape. Ended up being the girlfriend of a fan of the show. Oh, is that a good one, Puddin' Cup? That one's for old fans only. Woo. Woo. Brendan Schraub. Didn't this guy used to be a UFC fighter or something? Boxer. Not a comedian, just a hacky massagist. Again, not illegal. <laughs> with Brian Callen, and he does shows with Delia. Fuck! <laughs> Kyle Anderson, the dead dog guy from the show earlier, he was he was all about this getting Delia and anybody who works with Delia. It's like, do you know like a lot of comics show up to shows? They don't know who's on the show, and it's like. You know how hard this business is, and you're going to like begrudge men and women who are just taking slots. Man, they didn't ask to be on a show. Might not have even asked to be on a show with Delia. And then you think about somewhere like the Comedy Store, where like running running a show in the OR from like 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. <laughs> and then... You're going to like, oh, he did a show with Dalia. It's like if Dalia was on at 1030 and I was on at 1145, did I do a show with Dalia? The fuck are you talking about? Everybody, by the way, when you're fucking spotless, you come after everybody. Until then, fuck off. This is, you're all fucking nuts. This Alex. Alice Hamilton chick is a bitter nobody. This all stems from this bitch not getting something. Guaranteed. And they're all fucking new, too. I've been doing this for almost 20 fucking years. Get spit on more. You deserve it. They treat us all like shit. <laughs> Um, later skater. He said, yeah, yeah. Brendan, Sh they're getting now to like, not funny. And I saw him in a car with another man who looked like Dalia. Jeff Ross, Skakel's favorite. Two 16 year olds said he statutory raped them and one is enough for me. Goodbye forever. Jeff Ross sues women who went public with underage relationship claims. So the, so the, the, pr the article you chose to post to back up your point is that 
Jeff is defending himself by suing a woman who said he raped her. I would too. <laughs> it's what an innocent person would do. I don't know that he's innocent. A lot of stuff swirling. Again, all the stuff about Louis swirled around for 10 years. I heard it before, before it all broke. Now you're all virtuous. You're all fucking idiots. <laughs> I love how every fucking one of you think you're like better than everybody else. Like, he messaged a girl. It's like, I swear to fucking God, let me in your email box. Let me see what you've been up to, you dirty little bitch. <laughs> uh, me too, as a result of the comedy scene not being clean, like Dan Ninen said. Can't argue with uh, factoids, Jeff Ross. You're like, <laughs> I, it's just a dumb article to put up to like make your point. Mark Norman, this one's hilarious. Alleged abuser, confirmed hack. Look, I've got girlfriends who said I abused them. And by the way, they're the ones that broke doors off hinges, put holes in walls, ruined property of mine, and punched me in my sleep. And if you ask that girl, if I'm abusive and mean, she'd say I'm the problem. I've never laid my hands on a girl. You're out of your mind. A girl said she did. Girls are crazy liars, dude. They're nuts. <laughs> Believe all women. Believe me. Most of them are full of shit. Just like men, by the way. Like, fuck. You're all like, have you all not lived? <laughs> I've had some toxic, toxic shit leveled at me. Reverse mind game horse shit. Ash, ask our buddy Chef. Happy birthday, Chef. Fake pregnancies, jerked around, hustled for money. Fuck. <laughs> I can tell you how many for Josh Denny. Ask him how many of this, like, like you're all, everything is not cut and dry. A girl said he did it. <laughs> are girls people? Can they be pieces of shit? Oh, cool. Mark. Mother fucking Norman out to lunch. Check it out on YouTube now. Alleged abuser confirmed hack. His jokes are not good. So if he's going to be weird to women, then he can fuck off forever. So now you're not allowed to be weird to women. Mark Norman, arguably somewhere on the spectrum, half of his jokes are about how awkward he is with women. You think he's not funny in a hack? Look, he does jokey jokes. You could like a lot of people think like jokey jokes, Dangerfield esque jokes are hack. He just does that style. That doesn't mean it's hack. He's got some very funny shit. So again, we're gonna watch her special next. That's gonna be our our icing on this fucking shit cake. Andrew Schultz, terrible comedian. And a complete psycho. Do you see her reasoning for all this stuff? It's like, by the way, does it does this make you not look like a psycho? You look knuck and futz after all this shit. Um, he's a great example of bigotry against women. Women have to be skinny or they don't deserve to be acknowledged. He says that all the time. Andrew Schultz's ex-girlfriend claimed he was secretly poisoning her. An absolute lunatic. <laughs> Let's read this. For years, I was manipulated, controlled, and abused by him. The verbal abuse was constant. I was isolated from... First of all, this doesn't say Andrew Schultz anywhere. If I wore makeup he thought was too much, he'd wipe it off my face in public. He'd force me to change. I can see that. He's not. He does seem a little crazy. But it's like, you're with that guy. That didn't come out of nowhere. You picked being with a psycho. Again, not illegal. So you had a bad relationship. I'm sorry. He doesn't deserve to be in prison or lose his career. Uh, Whitney Cummings. Okay, we got a female. I wasn't going to add her to the list, but after this, Joe Rogan got in trouble for saying in 
110 times. She claimed it was just taking his fans through a spooky mental haunted house. Bitch, that is your last opinion. So she had an opinion. I hate Whitney Cumming. She's a mean cunt. <laughs> but she doesn't... Whitney, Penning, Whitney Cummings had the uh, audacity to have an opinion that she disagrees with. So she should be, she should be axed, canceled. Tom Segura, the quality of this dude's stand-up special has taken a nosedive. So he should be canceled. <laughs> Do you see how we've gotten from like rapist to like, uh, he's gone downhill in his later, his later specials. He's got to go since he clearly is done putting in any effort. Um, here are some racist uh, tweets from a dorky white suburban dad. This is Tom Segura talking about Will Smith and Jada. Christina P. This woman is very bad at uh, comedy, constantly telling jokes she did not come up with herself. Okay. Joe Rogan. Um, mean, mean, tackle a farson. We will never find the next great comedian if these mediocre white hacks keep hogging all the stage time. Okay. Alice Hamilton, sex criminal, first mini special available on YouTube now. I'd like to head over, search for sex criminal. And again, like this is a this is a girl I, I turned on Earl Earl Skakel, you know, showed me this. He's like, no, but she's cool though. It's like she isn't. <laughs> this chick's mentally ill, dude. Like. I'm glad that you you guys are all still like in the that you're going down this road of like everything's fine. It's like this is crazed. So I gotta find Alice Hamilton, sex criminal. Two days ago, ten thousand views. Are you guys ready for your um, this looks like it was filmed with a uh, Nokia flip phone. I told you about people who call this shit their special. 28 minutes. I doubt we'll make it through it all. Let's have a little taste. Are you guys ready for your headliner event? She's a raising your hair. Alice Hamilton. She brought a oh giant God. child's Thank notebook. You guys for coming to the Look at this Janine Garofalo wannabe bitch. She's brought this giant notebook and two bottles of water on stage. <laughs> this looks like a sheet in front of a window in a studio apartment lit with one 60 watt incandescent bulb. She got real dressed up for it, too. Yes, thank you. And give it up for Miranda and JP one more time. That was fucking awesome. I am way too ADHD to put something like this together, so thank you guys so much for everything that you did. Uh, thank you for coming to this. Uh, please don't heckle me like I know every single one of you personally. You're 42 seconds in. Not a joke. She's following Tide's timeline for last per minute. And... Now she's admitting that everyone in the audience is a comic friend of hers. If any of you yells at me, I'll just be like, Zach, get the fuck out. <laughs> okay. So let's. So she's invited her friends to a room for her special. Okay? I'll be chill. But fuck Tom Segura, because he's not trying. Uh, yeah. So uh, Chris D'Elia got in trouble. <laughs> Oh, this is her act. Uh, Chris D'Elia getting in trouble is a lot like that clip of Kanye West interrupting Taylor Swift at the VMAs. Still funny. <laughs> Only happened once, and now we're all over it? How else is it like it? If any of you guys...
guys don't know, Chris D'Elia is a terrible stand-up comedian who was a cute... She hasn't told a joke yet except for that, that... Like, so she just... Her act is attacking Chris D'Elia. This, again, someone clearly hurt this chick. Like, someone raped her or sexually assaulted her. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because you're not... You don't just, like, pitch this tent for nothing. Do you know what I mean? So, um, here we go. <laughs> it's just her working out her trauma. It's Cope Fest 22. And we're all supposed to sit around and act like it's funny because she's hurt. This is bad. He was essentially trying to crowdsource child porn from his underage fans, whom he was also having sex with, allegedly, you know. <laughs> Uh, and look, before we get into all of that, I just want to say that Chris D'Elia is... It's like, the problem I have with it is that there's a million people on the earth who have allegedly done a million things. You have to let that go. <laughs> you do. Now, you know about Chris D'Elia because you're a comedian and he's in your circle. But, like, there's a million other dudes tangential to your sphere who have probably been accused of sex crimes. Okay. You've got to let it go and move on with your life. You can only change the things you can change. You can only control the things you control. Do you know Chris D'Elia? Did he rape you? Did he hurt you? I'm not, like, belittling that if that happened. But, like, if your dad touched you... Going after Chris D'Elia isn't going to bring you closure. And you probably only know what you read in a HuffPo article. So I would just, again, you'll always catch me with this stance. I just would err on the side of we don't fucking know and I'd shut my fucking mouth. <laughs> now, it's fun to speculate. It's fun to go, ooh, what did he do? You know? Like, if he did, let's find the scandal, and I'll cover it. But, like, uh, actually, and by the way, you know, <laughs> actually, it is illegal to talk to a young girl. It's like, okay, we're done. You're a broken, broken person. Is not funny at all. Like, <laughs> So now her act is, after one joke, a minute and 30 seconds in, She's just like, he's not funny at all. <laughs> like, these, this is her act. Look how many people laughed at his jokes. People used to laugh at blackface, okay? Sometimes the audience is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing is never wrong. It's never wrong. Unless it's fake. Laughing is an involuntary reaction. It's never wrong. Blackface, in context of the past and history, made a lot of people laugh. That's what was funny at the time. It wouldn't make people laugh today because our culture has shifted. Laughter is never wrong. This this woman is a broken woman, okay? So, I, you know, I do a pre Like, I want to have a discussion, and now the... the Crack rock steady guys, shut the fuck up. Like, I'm not trying to, like, I, I went hard. I said, you're retarded and all this stuff. I'm a comedian. I'm fucking around. Uh, I want to have this discussion, but, like, you have to understand, like, we there is a line. Like, either did a crime or you didn't. And if you didn't, you didn't, and you have to let that go. You can make a mental note. You can go, like, oh, I think that guy's a piece of shit. I'd never work with him. Great. You're doing yourself a disservice and you're hurting your mental health by running around with a flag telling other people not to. It's like, let it go. You're going to you're going to fix it? What are you what are you Hannibal Burma? Bur burn burn <clears throat> All right, and what struck me about like the day that Crystalia got canceled, a day that will live in infamy. He didn't get canceled. He's fine. He's fine. He's doing better than you. 
every podcast he does, it gets more hits than your special. <laughs> like, stop. Let it go. Who hurt you? Is uh, the fact that, like, everyone defending him had such weak defenses. You know, they were like, it's legal to fuck high schoolers in Nevada. <laughs> what? If you have ever Googled age of consent laws by state, just go to your nearest prison and self-surrender. Uh okay. We've got nothing. Yeah, a rule, for people who aren't comics, a, a rule of comedy, a common rule of comedy is that you start off with your second funniest joke and end with your funniest joke. Now, as you advance and become a pro comedian, you don't worry about any of that shit anymore. All your shit should, uh, you should be able to open with or close with. You know, of course, you know, and by the way, if there's something that you can't, you know it. All right, yeah, I know it's legal to fuck high schoolers in Nevada. Bestiality is legal in five states, but if Chris D'Elia fucked a cow, you wouldn't be like, well, hang on, was he in Kentucky? Because <laughs> if he was in Kentucky, then he... So I got to, and then I just got to add this little comment real quick. Like, this is a bitch, <laughs> I call all people that, um, who's out there calling people hack. It's like... Your second joke in two minutes and 25 seconds. Your first joke is Chris Dilly is like Kanye uh, taking the award from, from Taylor Swift. Your second joke is basically boils down to people in Kentucky fuck animals. Who's hack again? I okay. really didn't do anything wrong, so I'm something of an intellectual. Uh <laughs> God, it's just so fucking absurd to me. Like, the idea that this man was accused of sticking his dick in people's kids and I'm supposed to give a fuck about which side of Lake Tahoe he was on. <laughs> like, I just fucking don't. Uh, people who were like, look, some of the high schoolers wanted to fuck. Also, like, again, <laughs> it's not me sticking up for kid diddling, but, like, I do have to stick up for just our society it does work that way <laughs> like i don't know about nevada i don't i have no idea what the nevada age of consent is so i'm not saying nevada but like it literally is that way where like if you fuck a 16 year old here it's illegal and if you cross a border and fuck a 16 year old it's not illegal now you can have opinions on that all day long whether it's right or wrong uh, frankly, I've never met a woman under 26 capable of making a decision that will benefit her life. So you could argue that should be the age of consent. But it's like if you fucked a 16 year old and it's legal, then it's legal. I, it just is. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying I would. I'm not saying it feels right. I'm not saying you didn't take advantage of somebody. I'm not saying it's not shitty. I'm not saying if I was her dad, I wouldn't be mad. I'm not saying any of that. If he didn't commit a crime, he's not going to jail. And you have to get over that. For you. for Not for him. He doesn't give a shit. For you. You're the one having mental problems about it. He seems fine. He's not doing a special about how you can't get over him fucking a kid <laughs> or whatever. I don't like. Hey, if you want to hear the rest of this show, how about head on over to the overdose? What's the overdose? You might be saying to yourself, well, we've been around since 2005 and we don't do it by reading ads to you over and over every show. We don't want to bug you. How about you help us on the back end? Uh, if you want to support the show, join the overdose. $13 a month. We've raised the price. But guess what? You're listening to this. You're listening to this. You want a little deal? How about enter coupon code secret at the checkout for the overdose. You're going to save 20% right off the top. Tell them Patrick sent you. 
and you're going to save 20%. You're going to support the show. You're going to get instant access to a top secret RSS feed with all of our bonus shows, after shows, and entire back catalog of shows back to 2005 except for the ones where the links are broken email me about it i'd love to get on to it for you and fix them okay no system's perfect and i bet if i came to your house went through your drawers called uh, that thing you call a mom down in the in the kitchen and had her make us some ham sammies and show us photos of when you were a child your whole history wouldn't be clear as day either okay i don't know why i'm being so defensive join the overdose i'd like to have fun with you you know come hang out and stuff think of it as a way to pay my electric bill okay rtx graphics cards ain't cheap kids join the overdose and we'll see you next time